Ah, yeah. And uh, since we we have seen a Camille and then a Shen, this is something that we're now starting to see as a combination. Uh, Camille, Shen, maybe even a Galio picked up later on here by KBG. If ever, Nova Esports does leave it open. Right, but Cassidin has been some of the answers that we have seen against Akali. Might as well just pick it up here for KBG and Andra9 will just be happy actually taking mm -hmm. his champion up for himself. Yeah. But also one thing to consider with the prevalence of the Camille and Shen and now the Cassidin, you know, lots of uh, the what we call anti-shield items has also been diversified in the recent patches. Now you can build a trident, an AP item uh, that can shred down the shields of the opponent so this shen wasn't or is no longer as effective as it used to be before although it's still effective now uh, one of the primary thing that makes shen op is the shielding right so at mm -hmm. least that can now be countered not just by the uh, ad champions but also by ap champions yeah that is a the new adjustment that we have seen here on Wild Rift. Finally, a little bit more of a balance plus the scaling armor penetration or like the magic penetration is also impactful for those uh, mages that really want to deal damage not only to squishy targets but also to tanky targets as well. Alistar, gonna be respected here by Nova Esport, might also be a Galio ban finally to see it push through. So that's gonna limit some of the choices here for you. you Though we can still see a possible Nautilus here for him. We haven't seen a Nautilus so far. Uh, have we seen a Nautilus? Not yet. No. Not yet, oh, right? No. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I think this is definitely going to be the first time that we will be seeing a potential Nautilus. Remember Yami and his Blitzcrank? Well, it's not going to show up because they already have selected a Gragas. There's uh, also a Rakan available for KBG. I'm curious if they will be going for a Blitzcrank just to reignite <laughs> that rivalry yeah. and uh -huh. send a message towards Yami. This is going to be insane. But also, insane oh, oh, oh. that we now see again one of the most OP signature combos in the Dragon Link, Gragas and the Varus. That's just massive isolation coming from Nova Esport. Plus, they have a, a Yone here for long. This is just uh -huh. absolutely amazing. No, not to the stone, no Blitzcrank. It's gonna be a prom here for you. <laughs> oh, have we seen you? You played this champion before in WRLA1? Maybe once, maybe twice, but it's definitely not maybe. something that we often see from mm -hmm. them. Uh, it's so defensive. Yeah, you can use a Glacial Fisher uh, to engage onto your opponent. And you look at approval ratings, like, majority of the fans in the CN is still giving their thumbs up and their love towards Nova Esports, uh, their yeah. fan base is still superior uh, against, I mean, in comparison uh, towards uh, KBG, but this is definitely going to be a very good barometer for us, Gia. Is KBG yeah. really lacking in terms of, uh, you know, the, the continuation since bec be because their coach has left them, or is it still the same keep best gaming that we are so familiar with? It might be a... a um a negative change, right? They're having a different coaching staff, but the players still have their talent with uh, on themselves. And KBG is looking to change history this time around against Nova Esports. The last time that they have met, especially in day number one, it was Nova Esports that that clinched out the victory, especially because of the influence of Long on the Yone. But this time around, with the same champion under his hands. Will KBG be able to disable it is the question, especially with this Camille Shen lineup plus Cassidy here for Andra 9. Cassidy versus the Akali for sure is... We, we saw this before, right? With Mitsura, uh, he's so willing to pick the uh, Cassidy as a potential counter against the Akali. But on the top side, this is now going to be the second time that we'll be seeing this matchup. Possibly the third time, actually. Uh, with Yitz uh, being the one on the jacks this time. Alright, some runes here and there and you will be seeing the... The Glacial. Yeah, specific, specific runes mm. and normal runes that we often see from the pro players. None of yeah. those uh, being able to buy items from outside the base because that's hella expensive if you, if you ask me. <laughs> 150, right? Yeah, so... it's a very big investment. What uh, really 
irritates me at sometimes is is just the glacial augment. Definitely, as it gets mm. integrated here on Wild Rift, it's helping so much on those engages. The additional slow and just the the impact of these CC champions is becoming more and more impactful, especially for those talented ones like Yami. <laughs> Yami is that champion that can be everywhere, right? Although sometimes he overextends and he is the reason why Nova Esports cannot really capitalize on majority of the plays that they make is because Yami is too far forward, so to speak. And so now this is also going to be the first time I will be seeing a Varus. Now, uh, curious to see as to what build this Varus is going to be because there's still the... Oh no, you don't do that. On the top side, Yeats, no, 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 they no, no, just no, no, receive no. a tower damage, but never mind. Again, just going back, Varus can now be built AP, or still the the uh, poke Varus that we are accustomed to seeing as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be more towards the the AD build if ever. They have already massive AP damage coming from the Akali later on, and it's going to be very difficult to take down Andra 9 if ever he builds AP. Because Cassidy is so tanky against magic damage dealers. And mm -hmm. he's just gonna be chilling here in the mid lane. I mean, Akali doesn't really have that much poke against a Cassidy. It's more so towards a Cassidy that actually has that capability to chunk down Ian. Yeah, it's uh it's the difference of having that innate passive magic shield that can win you trades as well. This it's also the reason why Camille is very deadly in the laning phase, the adapted defenses. It's also going to be a very big boost when it comes to trading, uh, but Long is not going to uh, continue the dive here against Xiaomai and Yu Yu. And looks like Kianga, we will have the slowest game possible <laughs> uh, between you, you KB and Jin. That too, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's just because it's b both of the teams do respect each other, and they don't want to really commit any silly mistakes. And so now they're playing passively and they're controlling the wave uh, in the best way possible to prevent any ganks that may come mm -hmm. their way. Yeah, real, real recognizes real and Nova Esports, KBG, they have massive history against each other already. They know each other's tactics at least for the, the many many times that they have faced against each other and watched each other's VODs as well. Right now we see the Taunt just lingering down here in the bottom lane waiting for an, a possible opportunity here to gank does have his stand united ready and available in case yami and dreaming makes a play as well it's not gonna be called out just yet here by nova mm -hmm. no engages whatsoever but there is an explosive gas available and you see long he's pathing towards the bot lane and could just engage any minute now oh spots out to you yami's over here the shield is working due diligence they will have <laughs> invested the Glacial Fisher though. Chain Corruption as well has been used uh -huh. and not connected towards the right target. So that's a bit of an oopsie on yep. both sides. And they're just gonna be sh like uh, chugging it off for now. Yeah, yeah. The, like the thing is uh, that Chains of Corruption, even if it hit, I just don't think that Nova Esports does have enough tools to really secure a kill. Uh, have to remember that uh, the Soul Unbound was already used by Long, and, and the, the only way to grab close is uh, to use Fate Seal, and I don't think he was in range for that. The Tone, though, on the top side, using the Shen, his best champion, by far, and in, in my opinion, is the Shen. Mm-hmm. I, I, this this uh, champion is definitely working really well for him, especially in Season 1, and it has been really popular right now whenever we see a camille shen is gonna be prioritized by the jungler so i've seen it three times already as of today and right now is the time for them to decide whether to go for the rh or whether to go for the mountain dragon I think it's going to be a contestant for dragon for sure because both of them really want to extend this towards the late game they want to secure the soul especially with the new changes towards it as well mm -hmm. you really want to be the one to secure the soul especially when it's like ocean soul. yep it's a, uh, it's the best thing to secure for sure, and we see KBG already starting the dragon. It will be the mountain map, and it will be the mountain soul available. But Neon, trying to play with fire against Unran 9, that one will be able to secure this dragon. You know, on the other side, Nova Esports, it will be a handshake deal, and they will be mm -hmm. securing the tempo advantage given by the Rift Herald. 
You can use it into the mid lane or maybe even towards the Baron lane to help out Yitze right there. Meanwhile, the rest of the squad is just going with their new position. The, dragon, the, the duo going to the mid lane and their solo lane is going to the bottom lane. Maybe we can see a gank here into the top lane, but actually KBG strikes out first. No. Yitze doesn't have mana, might actually get taken down. The face seal is going to be used, but missing the target and it uh, might just Yitze. fall down. That's first blood here by KBG. Long will just be a victim here, but here comes Yami helping out just to escort him away. Oh, Yitza dying there is definitely going to be a very big boost for KBG. That's the first blood and also was able to stop their tempo. Have to remember that Nova was the one that was able to secure the Red Herald. If they are not going to be able to use it timely and wisely, it does negate its impact. As we look into a very good combo, and that's a wide miss by Long once again on the feed shield. It's not Long's fault, right? Like he, uh, it, it was also the presence of mind of uh, KBG's members to just make sure that they have enough separation to not get hit. Mm -hmm. They already anticipated that follow-up coming in from Long. That's why they were more prepared than Nova Esports. Now with two kills that they have picked up, it's slowly actually helping them in terms of the goalie. Plus, because of that dragon that they have picked up, scaling-wise, it's now more so favored towards KBG. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for an explosive fight to happen, but KBG is slowly, steadily getting some advantages here and there. And finally, some positive play and some tempo play coming from Nova Esports. They will be securing this tower here in the bot lane and will be gifting a solo, build, a solo gold over uh, to their juggler. Yeah, Nian as well just uh, shoving out the remaining minions there in the bottom lane. Level 10 already compared to Anna, but. Anon is also going to be reaching level 10 after doing that wave. The Pondo is a little bit too far forward and just will be gifting a kill here towards Nova Esports. Yep, Neon going in once again, but Yu Yu, with the Unbreakable, will still be able to be that tank the KBG needs. Shaoma, Shuriken on his head, no follow through for Nova Esports, but we'll look into that replay once again. The Tone and Long being overextended. Long knows this, and uh, a very heavy commitment, sure, to uh, instantly assassinate Daton in the darkest of territories here in the jungle of Nova. That seems to be more of a an unfortunate scenario there for Daton rather than a planned counter invade gang there by Nova Esports. Everyone just happened to be going towards that location when he placed the ward and tried to go for the, the invade. Now KBG should be having that as a learning lesson of experience and we'll just be playing it a little bit more safer now and at the item still it's going to be a, an extended game for sure mm -hmm. having to see champions like Cassidin, Akali, Zeri even like when we see Camille and Chen normally this oh, is yeah, a duo that we see having to just stall out the game till they have like a massive like a uh, scaling in terms of their items yeah. And although Bloodthirster is a meta pick right now for almost all ADCs, it does look like that remake is not going to follow through with uh, that as his first option. I saw his first item, it was the Essence Reaver. Oh, that's a misstep for sure, right? Yami wasting his flash and that's information provided uh, to KBG. KBG just uh, taking their time and not giving out any gold anymore towards Tova Esport. That that slight mistake that Don made should, will not be repeated for sure. And they're just focusing on the scaling department, just uh, avoiding some of those gank locations by Long as well. Because he has been eyeing on lanes whenever yeah. Yam is also in the lane. Yu Yu is cautious of this as well. Just uh, setting up vision around the map, making sure they get their money's worth. Definitely is the primary win condition for Nova. Uh, Long will be their key win condition. And he's going back right now, trying to at least get one more item before any fight ensues. Mm -hmm. The Infernal Dragon is going to get started here by KBG. They want to secure the second stack for themselves. Nova Esports is going to be contesting this time around. Doesn't want them to continue scaling up. Andran spots out the back line. Yetze is taking too much damage. Has to use the counter strike. But on the other side, Neon is actually zoning away KG. And as they take control of this dragon, will it be a 50-50? <laughs> it's still the thought securing this objective for KBG. Good use of the cast though by Yami to disengage yep. and help out the rest of Nova Esports escape. 
Oftentimes we see we say that long is a cheat code just because you know when it comes to smite fights, 50 50s almost always go to his side. Ooh. He's overextended and he did not respect the damage coming in from KBG. He dies instantly. He blew up in that fight and KBG cracks down the tier one in the mid lane as well. This time in the bottom lane, it is a Stein United use and absolutely no damage was felt there by KG. Oh no, that's. Dominus stacking against Nova Esports. That's two blunders in a row and that's two towers to just easily be farmed uh, by KBG. And so now the, the, the goal lead has now expanded to 2.5k and more importantly, KBG is threatening a Mountain Soul. Mountain Soul for KBG is going to be nightmare for Nova. We look into the replay and we see the 1v1 that we did not see live in action and it's KG just toying with Neon. Band United once again, the perfect combo possible. Lockdown it is. Uh, and, and this is the power of KG. We, we, we've been saying that, hey, you know what, he's one of the key reasons why KBG is so consistent. His presence mm -hmm. in the Baron lane, he can win lanes uh, by himself. Add to the fact that he has a very good jungler uh, that is uh, that has a Shen that can just easily cast the stand United, and it's uh, it's the advantage that KBG needs most of the time to really win the game uh, for themselves. And as slow as the game has uh, progressed, it's progressing now uh, to be a KBG win because so far in 12 minutes and 30 seconds, all advantages point towards them. Mm -hmm. Two items already for Shamo as well. Bloodthirster and that Rune and Hurricane helping out definitely a lot for the team fights later on. So he has so much protection as well, so much peel from the other members of KPS Gaming. Now Nova Esports is starting to be uh, maybe a little bit desperate. Oh, no. Face Hill gonna oh, be used okay. there, but immediately dodged there by the pawn. They're just well aware of every <laughs> action that Nova Esports can make here. Yeah, and there is no big engage tool once again, but you'd say. Uh -huh. Okay, G. It's fine. <laughs> Yep. Uh, he wasted his flash there just because he got caught out of possession. Still though, if you are KBG, that's fine. You traded the flash for a tower on the top side. And you have timed this third dragon for sure. So uh, they have sent back all those uh, all those, all those uh, teammates or all the members of KBG that needs to, f to get some items. And... Uh, by the time that the third dragon fight commences, whoever gets a dragon, if KBG gets a dragon, that's already over, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's the Absolutely. soul. That's the soul. That's everything that they that they need. And over esports needs to stop them from getting that soul, because it has been a slow burn that KBG is making right now. Despite the attempts that Nova Esports has been trying in topside, in mid, and in the bottom lane, everything keeps being denied here by Keepers Gaming. It just shows so much change in discipline that KBG now possess. Yep. Trying to their best to weather the storm is Nova Esports. It's uh... Wait, they just baited out a Counter-Strike and immediately they they backed away. Uh -huh. <laughs> and also, it, it also helps that uh, KBG or, or Nova does have information that there's uh, more than one member in the area just because of the Hullbreaker that was built uh, by KG. But that's definitely something that he can bank on to get that domina dominance uh, over on the sideline, right? Like, you have the priority on the sideline, the more hits that you get uh, towards the tower of your opponent, the better it is for the split pushers. And KG will go back, they will be spending all those unspent gold, and will be posturing for the most important fight, at least in the first 15 minutes of the game. Mm -hmm. Ocean Dragon is going to show up, and that will be the soul for incontestion. Last chance for Nova Esports to deny a dragon away from KBG. This is the most important yet. The soul is online here for KBG. They want to secure it. Nova Esports bring out the sidelines. Just checking all the areas in which KBG can it's enter. It? But need to be very careful. Oh, that is a good counter strike. Just trying to die some of the damage. Oh, not no. going to connect on to anyone again. Glacial Fisher onto the front. This is massive for KBG. Sham is being able to free hit from the backside. Nian trying to stop him, but immediately gets exhaust. And KBG just getting everyone here from Nova Esports. They're trying to escape, but this gives an opening again for KBG for this dragon. 
I think it, that's it. That's the soul secured here by KBG. A counter synergy did happen there. Nova Esports went for double ultimates at the same time. The explosive cask plus the fade seal hitting nobody. Paving oh, no the way man. for KBG to secure another objective. We look at that replay once again. You see KG, you see Unrun 9. They sense it. They know that Yitze is in the area. And their tag team, the presence of mind to skadoodle away and just be safe from the Wombo combo coming from Nova Esports. Sp uh, spell the doom of Nova. And so now you see KBG with the Dragon Soul and the Baron buff. I've, I, I, I think it's over. KBG has it's over. all the tools it's necessary over. to close this game down. Yeah, it, it just should be over right now. Double Doom definitely here. Acquired by KBG. Soul plus Baron. They can just run it down mid or maybe just go for a 1-3-1. No, nobody can stop them anymore. This is this uh, Jax of Yitze can no longer deal with KG. Even at the very yep. start, he couldn't even deal with Xcamil. What more How with much the, these stats that they have required? Yeah, lots of uh, resistances. And more than that, he also has the Hallbreaker and Baron empowered minions. Strategically, this calls for a 1 3 1 split push. KBG will be sending two split pushers on the side lane while maintaining the pressure coming from Shama here in the mid lane. Add to the fact that they still have a Asian uh, that they can call at any time, like their split yeah. push, whenever they get a Baron, oh, it's so hard to stop. Yeah, nobody can stop them now. <laughs> Absolutely. Shama just clearing out this tower into the mid lane. KG having three cannon minions charge into the bottom lane as well and unstopped, unfazed by the champion that is trying to defend there. All three inhibs gonna be taken oh, out right now. Nova Esports completely stopped here by KBG and it's only a matter of time before KBG ends this game right now. Cast gonna be used, desperate play comes in here from Nova Esports but it's not gonna be helpful at all. KBG bags this game number one. <laughs> I think we have overestimated the departure of their head coach. KBG is still very good at the game, Young. Uh, the presence of mind to really dodge all those E ultimates coming from Long. You have to remember Long is a very good 